Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Having a hard time getting started. I don't know why. I don't know if that's your energy or mine. Um, but you were up next, and I was like, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I really don't want to do it, but I gotta do it, you know. Um, I know you guys might think I hate you, but I don't, and that's part of the message. Every word that comes out of my mouth is, is part of the message. It's part of the reading. You know, you may think that the world hates you. You may think that this person hates you. They don't like you, but that's not true. Sometimes it's hard to, to take criticism. Sometimes it's hard to hear something that you don't want to hear, you know, and that makes you think these people don't like you. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. I happen to love Sagittarius, okay? Big time. But if you think about, you know, the people that love you the most are the people that are going to stand up to you. People that don't care, you know, people that don't care about you, those are the people that they show you they don't care by walking away. You know, they, they show you they, they don't care by, um, you know, their actions, not giving a shit. The people that are true to you are going to be the ones that challenge you. So let's get started. You don't have to like me. What do we got for Sagittarius? Doesn't mean I don't like you. What do we have for Sagittarius? fell out. There we go. I got a few of them there. Normally I don't take that many, but I'm going to because I feel the need. So, Axe. That was the one that fell out. Forces working against you. We already knew that, didn't we? So we do have some forces working against you bag something important such as a new job or a raise maybe that's what you're looking for success it's here it's available and we got a candle it messes with the camera july something to do with the month of july something could have happened last july or something could be coming up next july could be dealing with somebody born in july Flute. Ooh. Disappointment in a friend or lover. Bowl. Plenty of material things. You got plenty. There's nothing to worry about. Sometimes you may think you don't have plenty, but you should be thankful for what you, for what you have. And if you think about it, you really do have plenty. Cat. A two-faced friend. You got yourselves a two-faced friend. Which I believe you do. That's probably the force working against you. You got somebody working against you. Um, but you, you have the ability to not let this person stop you from success. Disappointment in a friend or lover. So yeah, you got some disappointment here. You have plenty. So keep that in mind. You may be angry about life or angry about this person that has pissed you off or whatever the case is or you feel like is against you. But you don't need them. Okay, you don't need them. And you don't need to fight with them. That's for sure. You have plenty. There's nothing to worry about. Something important such as a new job or a raise. Success will come to you. It will. It will. And this looks like it's a financial success will come to you. It will. But may not be till July. And I'm just I'm just being honest, okay? Um, you definitely have somebody here that is working against you. Now this person could be born in the month of July as well. Um, the month of July happens to be prominent either way. So what do we have for Sagittarius? I feel as though you're definitely disappointed. You are going to be successful, though. But you got somebody uh, that is working against you. 
Absolutely, because of that two-faced friend and that force is working against you. Uh, I feel like you're very disappointed in this person. Uh, maybe it has something to do with money. Maybe it has something to do with money owed or a job that you did with this person or that you were supposed to get or something like that. You're very disappointed in the whole situation. Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is typically held back. It's being restricted. Somebody restricting themselves um, because of fear. You know, somebody is, is holding holding back their truth in denial, blocking, protecting, uh, hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. They're not expressing themselves, hiding the truth um, in a state of denial, perhaps. This is now the two of swords is some sort of choice, a decision, and I feel like there's some sort of confusion. You know, you may be sitting on the fence trying to make a difficult decision. It's a painful choice. There's definitely some opposition and there's some fear here, and I feel like you are you maybe you have some some sort of divided loyalty and you don't know which way to go, which way to choose. You know, maybe you maybe you have a job or a way to a path to go down. You know, um, that could make you more successful, but you have a loyalty to somebody that, you know, maybe it's a friend that has been a friend for a long time or something like that. This person is leading you down the wrong path, but, you know, they've always been your friend and you've got this loyalty to this person. Well, if they're leading you to an unsuccessful place, then you have to make a choice to do what's best for you to be successful. So I feel like you definitely are in a tough position. I, f I do feel opposition here. I think you're in a tough position. What's right? What's right for you? What's going to make you successful? What that other person is doing or what you're doing? What's, what's going to make you successful? That's the question. Mm. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now this is a missed opportunity, a lost opportunity, a lost opportunity for abundance. Okay, this is throwing something away. Throwing away a golden opportunity because it looks like somebody has their eyes closed. This is missing an opportunity. Throwing something away in denial, choosing not to take it, choosing not to see it, in, you know, avoiding it, avoiding a golden opportunity. So it looks like you have a golden opportunity here that is slipping away or it has slipped away or you're letting it go, you're not taking it. It's like you're choosing, this is a choice, you're choosing not to take an opportunity that could bring you abundance, that could bring you stability. It's your choice, okay? It is your choice. You, you can choose to protect yourself and choose not to see and choose to avoid, maybe it's avoiding responsibility, you know, because that is a card of responsibility. So I don't know. Seven, yeah, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Now, Seven of Pentacles upright is about hard work, okay, putting in effort. This is, appears to be a dead end. It appears to be a dead end because somebody doesn't want to put in any effort. You know, things, you know, things don't grow unless you nurture them, unless you take care of them, unless you, you know, invest in them. So I feel like you've been blocking your own success. This is blocking success. Blocking success. Okay, just saying, and you can point the finger at somebody else all you want and call me a negative person for pointing the finger at you. I don't, that's fine. I don't care. Somebody is blocking their own success by not investing, by not putting in effort, by not trying hard enough, by not getting creative, by not, uh, being responsible. You've got to be responsible. And I'm not saying that all of you are not responsible. I'm not saying that. But putting in effort. Somebody needs to put in more effort. Seriously. If you want success, you want long-term success, you have to put in more effort. Now, this I'm not sure if somebody is being let go. Somebody could be being let go from a job because they're not putting in much effort. You know? Communication is key. You know, letting people sit and wait can cause you to lose the job. You know, if you're not answering right away, if you're not working hard enough, that job is going to go to somebody else. 
And that's going to hurt your purse. That's going to hurt your pocketbook. That's going to hurt your wallet. You know, I feel like um, somebody could even get the axe. In that, in that, I'm not sure if they're going to get unemployed. They may, they could get unemployed because they're not putting in much effort. You know, they may be just avoiding responsibility or something like that. Um, but there is definitely an opportunity for success here. These cards wouldn't be here. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Death reversed. So... Uh, Now the death reverse. This is holding on is getting old. There's delays. There's there's been there's being somebody that is definitely held back by fear. This is something could end in disaster because somebody's not taking action. There's lethargy here. There's stagnation. Okay, somebody is. Uh, it's basically like living a mundane life, you know, not not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They, they need to uh, get up, whatever that means. You need to get up. Um, that death card next to the Seven of Pentacles, this is dissatisfying. It's unrealistic. Some, it's, there's, somebody's not putting in much effort. It's like they're just, I mean, it's like... It's, it's like uh, dead weight or something like that this is just like it's not going anywhere this is it's not going anywhere so uh, holding on to this is getting old if somebody's not going to put in any effort so somebody needs to something is close to ending somebody is something is close to ending it hasn't ended yet it's probably going to end very very soon okay because the card wouldn't be here A hierophant. A hierophant is a higher power. It's a godly energy. Um, listen. Listen. Listen to your gut. Have faith. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You have a better life. This is like a near death situation. It is with a death reverse. It's like a near death experience, right? It's near death, but there's a chance for life because it's upright. I mean, there is, there's a chance for a new life, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith. You need to, I feel like we have somebody here that needs to really go within. You may need some counsel. Somebody may need some counseling. They may need to seek out a counselor or an advisor or some guidance from somebody that they can, that they trust. There is somebody here that has access to God that can give you some sort of advice, but you would have to listen. Can you listen? Are you teachable? This is like a teacher. So it feels like you you are trying. They're trying to teach you something, and it's almost like you're refusing. You don't you, you don't want to you don't want to learn. You don't. You may think that you don't got nothing to learn. We are learning every day that we are alive. It's all a learning experience. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like you are... It's like you're at the end. You're at the end of, a, of, of the road, okay? You're at the end of the road of a situation that isn't growing. You're, 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 you've been wasting time. You've been procrastinating. You need to, you need to uh, open your eyes. You need to, you need to make a choice. You need to grab onto something and run with it before it slips away, whatever that means. Do not let other people get in your way. Listen to yourself. Believe in yourself. You really, 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 really need to believe in yourself. I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't. You're very unrealistic here. So we, that Seven of Pentacles is very unrealistic, blocking, you know, a, a, blocking a, an opportunity, throwing something away. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. It's when, you know, somebody comes out on top. They do come out on top after a battle. 
they fight to the end and they don't give up and they do become successful. So you definitely have uh, the ability to win, to become successful. This is a winner, right? You may be, you could be taking something away from somebody. Maybe you take away something from somebody. Uh, maybe if you put in effort right now, you could take something, take a job away. You know what I mean? Seriously, get that job. You could, you could actually just like take it right away. But you're going to have to believe in yourself and, and communicate. It feels like it's, it's close to being lost, okay? It's close. Whatever this is, you're close to losing it, okay? You're close to losing this opportunity. It's really close. It's a near-death experience. And, and that can, I don't mean physical death. I mean, it could be. But I'm thinking it's, it's nearly gone. Whatever this opportunity is, it's, it's nearly gone, okay? Because you haven't invested. You haven't put in effort. You've been, you've been sleeping on the job or, you know, just keeping your eyes closed, avoiding it, restricting yourself, whatever. But there's an opportunity for success if you can hold your head up high and kick it into gear, okay? You could win. You could win. You could be the chosen one. You could get, you could be the one that is chosen if you put in effort. So I feel like you need to put in a little bit more effort or, you know... something could end. Somebody in a position of authority could decide that they're giving it to somebody else. Whatever that is. It's, it's, that's, I mean, there's definitely a choice here. The choice is yours. You want to throw it away? Don't put in any effort. If you want it, you better put in effort and you better put in effort right now. Whatever that means to you. Now, this is a fighter. The Six of Wands is a fighter. This is somebody who has fought a battle and does not give up, give in, okay? And even though somebody may get hurt along the way, you know, they still prosper. You know, they still uh, come out with their head held high. Yeah, somebody may have gotten hurt along the way. You may have to let go of somebody, but... If it brings you success, then that is what you need to do. There's definitely a friend or a lover here or somebody that you work with that is uh, two-faced. This person is not on your side. You know who this person is. You already know who this person is. It's a strong competition, and I think it's a competition for money, you know, or for the job or whatever it is. Maybe it's maybe it's commission. I don't know. It's money. It has to do with money. There's jealousy here. If you if you don't put in effort right now, they are going to get the job. They are going to get the money. That means you might have to work overtime. You might have to step it up. By July, you could get a big, huge raise. Huge. Or money, or payout, or something. If you put in effort right now. I'm not, July is like not very far away. What, it's half a year? Six, seven, eight months? Eight months? <laughs> Time flies. If you think about it, it was just barely July. Now it's November. It feels like it was just barely July. Time flies. Right now. You need to start working. You need to open up. You need to open up. That two of swords, that two of swords is where somebody is blocking. They're restricting themselves, you know. Maybe you've been unable to see it. Maybe you just didn't see, you know, that could, that's, that could be the case. Maybe you didn't see that you were about to lose a big opportunity. Maybe you thought that... You know, everything was going well. So whoever you are working for or working with or something like that is probably aware. They are aware of your uh, 
lethargy it feels like i'm sorry i feel like it's lethargy i do not putting in much effort you need you need to step it up i don't know if you're dealing with a taurus you could be dealing with a taurus could be dealing with a scorpio but there is a higher power here this is somebody in a position of authority this person has a direct connection to the above, the divine, or whatever. The Hierophant is the is the highest authority. He makes this person makes a decision. So we do have a person in a position of authority that is making a decision about your future. They're waiting to see how much fight you have, how much strength and determination you have. Do you want to do you want to live or do you want to die? And whether this is in your job environment or your home, you know, and I'm not saying it in a physical sense, okay? Do you do you want this to last or do you want it to end? The choice is yours. One more card. So, end of November. Sagittarius is missing something because they're not seeing something they're not they may be clueless they're just not um realizing that they're about to lose maybe it's a big job i don't know maybe it's a or it's a, a job offer or they i'm not even sure if somebody could get unemployed um because they're just not putting in much effort um and they are being watched by the higher ups that's a higher up. So the higher ups are watching your performance. Uh, my advice is to step it up. One more card. One more card. Two of pentacles. Now this is a change. A need to be adapt. A need to be flexible. Again, a choice. A choice between two. This is trying to find balance, okay? This is ups and downs, adaptability, um, juggling money, balancing books, transferring money. Um, somebody may, here may be working with money. This could be financial. It could be something to do with the financial. It could be financial business. I don't know. It is financial business. I feel as though uh, somebody needs to make a decision, okay? This is about a decision. It's about a choice. It's about uh, what do you want? This is about alignment, okay? This is alignment. So this is like the universe that is trying to align you with your uh, best interest. But it's like you have to, you have to engage. You know, you have to choose, and you, it looks like you got to choose one of the uh, you, some because you could go from two to one. So something is being let go. You know, you're going to have to let go. You're going to have to let go of something. You may be trying to do too much or you need to balance out your life. Okay, maybe maybe you're having a hard time balancing out your home life with your work life or whatever the case is. But you need to find a way to do so that you can be successful. This month is about balancing to find success. And the only way you're going to do that is to let something go. And I don't know if it's this person. And, and they could be the ones that are making the choice. If you do get let go, consider it a blessing in disguise. And I know that's hard to fathom. But consider it a blessing in disguise. You will get something better that makes more money. And you will have learned from this experience. So anyway, this is juggling. I feel like you are going to be juggling uh, this month. I think you're going to be needing to adapt to some sort of change. There is going to be a change. 
you may need to uh, I don't know maybe you have to start looking you gotta start looking for something else anyhow Sagittarius I feel like uh, you will be successful in whatever it is that's happening whatever it is that you're doing but it isn't gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy at all I don't think it is I think that you are protected I do think that you are protected. I feel like you are divinely guided. I feel like you have a direct connection to a higher power. And they are telling you that uh, you need to get up and you need to get moving. Good luck. <laughs> 